Over many years, they've developed through evolutionary thinking their concept of God. A God as creator, God of the creator of the rains, God as provider, God as protector. The Dutch tried to prove by that document this land belonged to white colonists under the rule of the Dutch East India Company, the VOC. They bought it in today's terms for less than 100 rand. Suddenly, in 1714, you get something called the loan farm system. And the loan farm system is basically saying to white settlers, there's no impediment now on you taking land. There's no one going to stop you from taking land. All the treaties that have been signed during the colonial eras were actually null and void. They believed that in the first instance, God created land. And it totally clashed with the Europeans' worldview regarding land. The Dutch had an insatiable appetite for meat, and they basically attacked Koi groups and stole their cattle and massacred the Koi Koi. They lost not only their land, but also the independence. <laughs> is Ongeluksnek Pass, where Adam Koch III cut through these magnificent mountains known as the Drakensberg. It was a migration of epic proportions, relegated to a footnote by South African historians. Adam Koch III led 2,000 of his followers, 300 ox wagon, and 20,000 head of cattle and sheep across these mountains from Philippoulis. After losing nearly half their livestock, and their ox wagons in the ravines of these mountains, they arrived at their promised land. But the trek cost them dearly. Sarah Bartman gave us as women a spiritual connectedness that we did not know existed. And to me, that is so positive. The fact that to us, she became the icon of our spiritual connectedness. All along the shore, you have these interesting patterns, sort of rocks arranged in semicircles or half circles, if you like. Now, these were built many, many years ago by the early Khoi Khoi of this area, and they're called fish traps. So the buildings here are extremely old. The one to my right, in fact, was built in 1679 and is known as the Kleine Post. Right, meneer? That's correct, yeah. The Kleine Post was the place where they now the fear and good by each other bring it, where they now come up here, where they die on the ship and Kaapstad sit. But now, interesting enough, this building was also the vacation house of Simon Adrian van der Stijl and his brother. As more and more frontier farmers moved in here, grazing land became increasingly scarce. Adam Koch and his followers, under pressure to find pasture, headed north over the Willifans Rafir, into what is today known as the Knersvlakte, or the Little Namakwa Land. A 
It's just after 6 a.m. and I'm on Paternoster Beach. It's here where locals engage in illegal fishing because of what they call an unfair quota system, not taking into account their birthright to live off the sea. Our own heroes, the full stories of Kritoa, of Achimau, of Doman Namoa, of Honomoa, are not found. Our stories are silent. And is this ignorance about our ancestors? Brown and black Africans have Khoisan ancestors. And it's time for us to rediscover the ancient faith, our customs, the value of our traditions. <laughs> 